So today we get a semi on with a Squire Affinity Starcaster. Sweet. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Guitar Manifesto channel, hope you're doing well. So today we're checking out the Squire Affinity Starcaster, really awesome semi-hollow body guitar. Fender originally released the Starcaster in their sort of mid-70s, it was their take on the sort of electro Spanish style guitar, but yeah, re-released by Squire with their own little take on it. So yeah, Squire Affinity model, so this is sort of their mid-range model. They've also brought out the classic vibe, which is a bit more money, but a nice guitar. Hopefully I'll get my hands on one of them soon and review one of them. So these currently retail for around £225, brand new. I bought this used off eBay. I did a video on that. I'll put a, a link in the corner. So you can get some bargains out there for under £200 if you want one of these used. So this is a semi-hollow body. So it's got a cavity either side, a little block running down the middle. These are maple laminated bodies. You got two humbucking pickups, which sound pretty decent. You got single volume tone control with the witch hat style knobs. You got a three way selector switch, so you got your neck, middle, bridge position, tune pneumatic bridge with your stop tail piece. You can see the hollow body through the F holes there. But a nice thickness to the body. It's got a, a contour to it, sort of. Bulges up in the middle there, and a contour to the back, so a really sweet looking guitar. So £225 for these brand new, and that does look pretty sweet. The output jacks on the underside there. For the strap buttons, you've got one that side, and there's one just under there. So no neck dive, it's got a nice balance to it when it's in the stand-up plan position. So it's got a nice weight to it, definitely well-balanced guitar. You've got a maple neck, and these are 25.5 inch scale, so 25 and a half inches from the nut to the tunematic bridge. So like a Telecaster, Stratocaster sort of scale length. You've got nine and a half inch radius fingerboard, 22 frets, again maple neck with a skunk stripe down the back. You've got narrow tool frets, it does really feel nice, a slim C taper neck. You've got that very cool shoe looking Starcaster headstock some people don't like these I think they're pretty cool some a bit different and if people don't like it when you're playing on stage you can give them a, a kick up the backside but yeah modern style tuners a cool looking just a really cool looking headstock I do like them plastic nut 42 millimeter and it plays really nice, really nice neck on it. So again, this was a used model, is pretty minty fresh, few little marks on it, but quality control wise, this is really nice guitar, really nice to play, well put together. There was no sharp frets on this when I bought it. I just put some new strings on it, I've got some 9 gauge strings, which is my preference for this sort of scale guitar. But a quick little tweak of the adjustments and it, yeah, it was pretty much there. So for today's demo, I'm going to play to a backing track playing through the three different playing positions, playing a mixture of rhythm, lead guitar, clean and a bit of distortion. So next thing, plug her in, see what she sounds like.
So there you go, that was a Squire Affinity Starcaster guitar, very unique guitar. If you're after a semi-hollow guitar, electro-Spanish sort of style, I think these are really cool. Different take on you know your standard ES guitar. It's got a nice contour to the body. It's actually an offset, so the, the waist lines are at an angle, so yeah. A cool offset guitar with a semi-hollow body. So for £225 you get a really cool guitar. I'll put a link in the description below because Bax Music are currently the cheapest online at £225. So if you're interested in buying one of these new, hit the link below and they'll know the guitar manifesto sent you there. But yeah, two humbucking pickups, volume tone control, three-way selector switch, tunematic bridge, F-holes, maple laminated body, maple neck. 25 and a half inch scale, 9 and a half inch radius fingerboard, narrow tool frets, got that cool looking headstock, monostyle tuners, skunk stripe down the back, you've got a, a satin finish to the back and the neck. So let me know what you think to it in the comment section below, whether you preferred the neck, both pickups together, or just that bridge pickup. Yeah, and let me know what you think to the, the styling of these. Not to everybody's say, so I'd be interested to hear what your opinions are. Also, Playing it acoustically in the room, there's a nice ring to it, plenty of resonance on there for your, your tone wood needs, but yeah, really cool guitar. So yeah, let me know in the comments section below what you think to it. If you enjoyed today's video, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, set your notifications to all so you keep up to date on all the latest guitar manifesto videos. Also, head over to Instagram, follow me on there, The Guitar Manifesto, to stay up to date with all the, the latest goings on. And that will probably wrap it up for today, so hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.